Hey, space lovers, today we're diving into the coolest space events happening in May 2025 that you really don't want to miss. May is going to be packed with awesome things happening in the sky. From shooting stars and thin Saturn rings to a full flower moon, a perfect stargazing night, and Venus lighting up the morning. Even if you're not a huge space nerd, these are the kinds of things that are just fun to watch. So let's talk about what's lighting up the sky this May. Let's start off with the Eta Aquarid Meteor Shower. This one's super exciting because it's one of the strongest meteor showers of the year, and it's actually made from pieces of Halley's Comet. Yeah, the Halley's Comet. The shower runs from April 15th to May 27th, but the best time to see it is during the night of May 4th into the early morning of May 5th. That's when you could see up to 50 shooting stars every hour if the sky is clear. These meteors are super fast too, zooming through the sky at about 41 miles per second. If you live in the southern hemisphere, you're in luck because that's where the show is strongest. But people north of the equator, like in the U.S., can still see around 10 to 30 meteors per hour. The best time to watch is right before dawn, and you don't need a telescope, just a dark spot, maybe a blanket, and some patience. Next up, something a little different is happening with Saturn. On May 6th, Saturn will have what's called an equinox. Now we all know how Earth has equinoxes. Where day and night are about equal, Saturn has them too, but only once every 15 years. During this equinox, the sun shines right over Saturn's equator, and because of how the planet is tilted and how far away it is, the rings around Saturn will look super thin from Earth, like almost invisible. Saturn's rings are crazy wide, but they're also really thin, like only about a kilometer thick. So when we're seeing them edge on like this, they basically vanish. It's a rare thing to see, and it only happens twice during Saturn's long 30-year trip around the Sun. A week later, on May 12th, we get a beautiful full moon. This one's called the Flower Moon, which is such a nice name. It's called that because in the Northern Hemisphere, May is when flowers start blooming everywhere. You can spot it near some stars with really cool names like Zubinel Ganubi and Antares. The moon will reach its fullest phase around lunchtime if you're in the U.S., but don't worry, you can still enjoy it the night before and the night after. What's even cooler is that this full moon is also a micro-moon. That means the moon is farther away from Earth than usual, so it'll look a bit smaller and a bit dimmer. Not super obvious to the eye, but still pretty neat to know. Later in the month, on May 27th, we'll get a new moon. This is when the moon is right between the Earth and the Sun, so the side facing us isn't lit up at all. It'll look like the moon disappeared, but that's actually awesome for stargazing. With no moonlight in the sky, you'll get the best view of stars, planets, and maybe even galaxies if you've got a telescope. If you want to do some serious space spotting, this is your best night to do it. Now here's something really cool to finish the month. On May 31st, Venus will hit its greatest elongation west. Okay, that sounds super sciency, but it just means Venus will look the farthest away from the sun in the morning sky. So when you wake up early, like before sunrise, you'll see Venus shining super bright. It'll look like a really bright star, but it's actually a planet. This is when Venus becomes what we call the morning star, and it's the easiest time to spot it. You won't need anything fancy, just look toward the east before the sun comes up, and Venus will be right there glowing. If you like this video, hit that like button, and subscribe for more space stuff made simple. Let me know in the comments which of these events you're most excited about, or if you've seen any of them before. Alright, catch you next time, Under the Stars.